Yeah, I just got done wrenching on the K car, removed a defective, uh, I think that's some kind of ignition module. But that's not the point of tonight's video. Oh, this is an IBM XGA2 adapter for microchannel computers, including all PS2s. Well, almost all PS2s that have a microchannel bus. Uh, it requires a 386SX processor or better, so you'll only be able to use it in a Model 55 or newer system. The nice thing about XGA2 adapters, first of all, it's a freely programmable card with one megabyte of video memory. Up to the hardware limits of the uh, RAM DAC, which is a 90 megahertz capable part, um, you can pretty much program this adapter to do anything you'd like. It is fast, it offers accelerated uh, video functions, and it is also very, very common. It's not hard to find one of these, so if you're looking to give your PS2 a little more video kick and you don't already have one of these, then this is the card to look for. Unfortunately, if you've ever run Windows on a PS2, either 95, 98, or Windows NT, you'll find that the video drivers that Microsoft wrote for the XGA2 are underwhelming, to say the least. This has been rectified, and a much improved driver has been written for Windows 95 and 98 by uh, Runstream Software, maintainers of the MCA base, whose uh, link you can find at the description on this video. But now, there's news, because those, that same person behind Runstream Software has written a uh, beta driver for Windows NT systems. As you can see running here on the PS2 Model 85 you are looking at just a moment ago, there's the Runstream uh, MCA base site, as well as the 9595 Ardent Tool of Capitalism, a site that many PS2ers are doubtlessly familiar with. Anyway, I have hooked up to this PS2, an NEC Multisync XE21 monitor, to try and demonstrate some of the capability that uh, is now available to Windows NT users. On Windows 95 and 98, the main benefit of the improved driver is more color depth. Um, the Microsoft driver only lets you have high color at uh, 640 by 480. This new driver lets you have high color at up to 832 by 624, which is actually a little bit, a uh, few too many pixels. It's been changed in subsequent releases of that driver. This isn't available on NT yet, but what is is vastly improved resolution, scan rate selection, and the colors will be there someday soon. As you can see, we're running this monitor at 1280 by 800, although it's on screen display really doesn't know quite what to make of it. It says 1024 by 768 with an exclamation point. But if you're a PS2 user and you're looking uh, and you happen to use Microsoft Windows and you're looking for better XGA2 support, look no further than the Runstream MCA base. 